Greetings, curious humans. Today, we embark on an epic journey to unravel the wonders of the universe as we delve into the extraordinary world of the James Webb Space Telescope. Prepare to be amazed as we explore the most ambitious space observatory ever built, the JWST. From its groundbreaking technology to its pivotal role in pushing the boundaries of human understanding, this marvel of modern engineering promises to unlock the deepest secrets of the cosmos. Join us as we uncover the mesmerizing capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope and learn how it will revolutionize our understanding of distant galaxies, stars, and even the formation of planets. Get ready to witness a new era of space exploration that will forever change our perception of the universe. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our cosmic adventures. Let's embark on this extraordinary journey together as we set our sights on the stars with the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, the largest space telescope ever built, is designed for infrared astronomy, surpassing the capabilities of the Hubble Space Telescope. With high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments, it can observe ancient, distant, and faint objects, opening up new avenues in astronomy and cosmology. This includes studying the first stars, the formation of galaxies, and characterizing the atmospheres of potentially habitable exoplanets. Developed by NASA in partnership with the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, JWST's primary mirror consists of 18 hexagonal segments made of gold-plated beryllium, creating a 6.5-meter diameter mirror, much larger than Hubble's. Unlike Hubble, JWST operates in the long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared spectra, requiring it to be kept extremely cold to avoid interference from its own emitted infrared light. It orbits the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point, shielded by a sun shield, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. The development of JWST faced numerous challenges, resulting in cost overruns and delays. However, after its successful launch in December 2021, it has been providing groundbreaking observations and making significant contributions to our understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST is half the mass of the Hubble Space Telescope. It features a 6.5-meter diameter gold-coated beryllium primary mirror composed of 18 hexagonal mirrors, providing a collecting area of 25.4 square meters, over six times larger than Hubble's 2.4-meter mirror. JWST is optimized for near-to-mid-infrared astronomy, enabling it to detect objects up to 100 times fainter than Hubble and observe much earlier cosmic history, reaching back to redshift Z is almost equal to 20, about 180 million years after the Big Bang. In contrast, Hubble can only observe back to about Z is almost equal to 11.1, corresponding to galaxy GNZ11, approximately 400 million years after the Big Bang. The emphasis on near-to-mid-infrared observations is due to several factors. First, high redshift objects' visible emissions shift into the infrared, making them observable only through infrared astronomy. Second, infrared light can pass through dust clouds more easily than visible light. Third, colder objects, such as debris disks and planets, emit more strongly in the infrared. Lastly, these infrared bands are challenging to study from the ground due to Earth's atmosphere's opacity in many infrared ranges and the interference caused by target chemical compounds also present in the Earth's atmosphere. JWST's capabilities extend to observing objects in the solar system beyond Mars, including planets, satellites, comets, asteroids, and minor planets. It possesses near-infrared and mid-infrared sensitivity, making it capable of observing virtually all known Kuiper Belt objects. Additionally, JWST can react quickly to observe opportunistic and unplanned targets, like supernovae and gamma-ray bursts, within 48 hours of the decision to do so. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope is a remarkable astronomical instrument designed to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, particularly in the near to mid infrared regions, unveiling ancient celestial phenomena and providing invaluable insights into cosmic history. The James Webb Space Telescope operates in a halo orbit around the Sun Earth L2 Lagrange point, approximately 1.5 million kilometers beyond Earth's orbit. 
this positioning ensures that JWST remains out of both Earth and Moon shadow. Unlike Hubble, which orbits 550 kilometers above Earth's surface, JWST's location near the L2 point allows it to orbit in synchrony with the Earth, maintaining a roughly constant distance while continuously orienting its sunshield and equipment bus toward the Sun, Earth, and Moon. JWST's halo orbit keeps all three bodies on the same side of the spacecraft, allowing it to block incoming heat and light and avoid temperature changes caused by shadows. This is crucial for maintaining a stable environment and keeping the temperature of the telescope below 50 Kelvin necessary for precise infrared observations. To achieve this, JWST is equipped with a five-layer sunshield made of Captain E film, each layer as thin as a human hair. The sun shield is coated with aluminum on both sides and doped silicon on the sun-facing side of the two hottest layers to reflect the sun's heat back into space. Though deployment testing of the sun shield faced delays due to accidental tears in its delicate structure, it was designed to be folded 12 times for fitting within the Ariane 5 rocket's payload fairing during launch. While within the shadow of the sun shield, JWST's field of regard is limited, allowing it to see 40% of the sky from any given position. However, over a period of six months, it can observe all of the sky. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope's unique halo orbit and sophisticated sun shield system enable it to conduct precise infrared observations while maintaining a stable temperature and avoiding interference from external light and heat sources. These features are key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe and advancing our understanding of celestial phenomena. The James Webb Space Telescope utilizes a 6.5-meter diameter gold-coated beryllium primary mirror composed of 18 hexagonal segments to provide a collecting area of 25.4 square meters. These segments are precisely positioned using actuators with 10 nanometer accuracy, ensuring optimal focus and alignment. JWST's optical design is a three-mirror anastigmat, incorporating curved secondary and tertiary mirrors to deliver aberration-free images over a wide field. The integrated science instrument module provides structural stability, electrical power, computing resources, and cooling capability to the telescope. It houses four main science instruments, NIR CAM, near-infrared camera, serves as an infrared imager with spectral coverage from visible to near-infrared wavelengths, aiding wavefront sensing and control for aligning and focusing the mirror segments. NIR SPEC, near-infrared spectrograph, conducts spectroscopy in the same wavelength range and offers three observing modes, low-resolution, multi-object, and integral field unit or long-slit spectroscopy mode. MIRI measures mid to long infrared wavelengths from 5 to 27 micrometers, featuring a mid infrared camera and imaging spectrometer. FGS slash NIRIS, fine guidance sensor and near infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, stabilizes the telescope during observations, controlling the spacecraft's orientation and driving the fine steering mirror for image stabilization. NIRIS also functions as an astronomical imaging and spectroscopy module in the 0.8 to 5 micrometers wavelength range. NIR CAM and MIRI are equipped with starlight blocking coronagraphs, enabling the observation of faint targets like extrasolar planets and circumstellar disks near bright stars. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope boasts a sophisticated array of instruments, mirrors, and precise mechanisms, empowering it to capture stunning images and conduct groundbreaking observations in the near to mid infrared spectrum, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Discussions about a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope began in the 1980s, but serious planning commenced in the early 1990s. Various telescope concepts were developed, including the High Z Telescope and the Nexus Precursor Mission. The idea of a larger, colder, and infrared sensitive telescope gained traction due to Hubble's limitations and the need to study the birth of galaxies and search for planets around other stars. The HST and Beyond Committee, formed in 1994, explored the concept of a large, cold space telescope, which could achieve scientific goals beyond Hubble's capabilities. This led to the planning process for what became known as the Next Generation Space Telescope. Preparations for the 2000 Astronomy and Astrophysics Decadal Survey further developed the scientific program for NGST, which received the highest ranking in the survey. 
Administrator Dan Golden's vision of faster, better, cheaper pushed for a paradigm shift, moving from a single mirror to segmented optics. The NGST concept, featuring an 8-meter aperture and flying to the L2 point, was proposed with an estimated cost of 500 million US dollars. In 2002, the project was renamed after James E. Webb, NASA's second administrator, known for his leadership during the Apollo program and focus on scientific research. In 2003, TRW was awarded the prime contract for the Webb telescope with a descoped 6.1-meter primary mirror and a planned launch date of 2010. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope's journey from conceptualization to realization involved overcoming technical challenges, adjusting the design to fit within budget constraints, and recognizing the importance of pushing the boundaries of space exploration to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Development of the James Webb Space Telescope was managed by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, with John C. Mather as its project scientist. The primary contractor was Northrop Grumman Aerospace Systems, responsible for the spacecraft element, while Ball Aerospace and Technology subcontracted to develop the telescope and integrated science instrument module. The project faced cost growth in 2005, leading to replanning and a 22-month launch delay to 2013. The total life cycle cost was estimated at 4.5 billion US dollars, with contributions from ESA and the Canadian Space Agency. The telescope successfully passed various reviews, including technology development milestones, preliminary design review, and mission-critical design review. Assembly of the primary mirror segments was completed in February 2016, and final construction finished in November 2016, followed by extensive testing. The launch was delayed several times, first to May 2020, then to March 2021, due to issues with the sunshield and deployment procedures. In August 2019, mechanical integration of the telescope was completed. After final tests, the telescope was transported to French Guiana in October 2021 for launch preparations. NASA's lifetime cost for the James Webb Space Telescope is expected to be approximately 9.7 billion US dollars, with 8.8 .8 billion US dollars spent on spacecraft design and development and 861 million US dollars allocated for 5 years of mission operations. The European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency contributed approximately 700 million euros and 200 million Canadian dollars respectively to the project. The cost of the project evolved over time, starting with a more modest estimate of around 1 billion US dollars in the late 1990s. However, due to design expansions, contingencies, scheduling delays, and technical challenges, the total budget increased. In 2011, the project faced potential cancellation due to budget overruns and management concerns, but after external review and support from various parties, Congress approved a capped additional funding of $8 billion U.S. dollars to complete the project. Gregory L. Robinson was appointed as the new director of the Webb program in 2018 and played a key role in improving the program's efficiency and performance. The final launch date was pushed back multiple times, with the telescope finally launched in late 2021, with a total budget of just under 10 billion US dollars. NASA, ESA, and CSA have collaborated on the James Webb Space Telescope since 1996. ESA's participation in construction and launch was approved by its members in 2003, and an agreement was signed between ESA and NASA in 2007. In exchange for full partnership, representation, and access to the observatory for its astronomers, ESA is providing the NIR SPEC instrument, the optical bench assembly of the MIRI instrument, an Ariane 5 ESA launcher, and manpower to support operations. The CSA provided the fine guidance sensor and the near infrared imager slitless spectrograph and manpower to support operations. A large international team of several thousand scientists, engineers, and technicians from 15 countries contributed to the build, test, and integration of Webb. A total of 258 companies, government agencies, and academic institutions participated in the pre-launch project, with major contributions from the United States, various European countries, and Canada. Other countries, such as Australia, are involved as NASA partners in post-launch operations.
In 2002, NASA Administrator Sean O'Keefe decided to name the telescope after James E. Webb, who served as the administrator of NASA from 1961 to 1968 during the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs. In 2015, concerns were raised about Webb's possible involvement in the Lavender Scare, a period of persecution of homosexuals in federal employment. However, a 2022 investigation report by NASA found no direct evidence linking Webb to any actions related to the firing of individuals for their sexual orientation, both during his time in the State Department and at NASA. The James Webb Space Telescope has four primary goals our search for light from the first stars and galaxies that formed in the universe after the Big Bang. Study galaxy formation and evolution. Understand star formation and planet formation. Study planetary systems and the origins of life. To achieve these goals effectively, Webb's instruments focus on near-infrared light rather than visible or ultraviolet light like the Hubble telescope. Webb's sensitivity extends from 0.6 to 28 micrometer, covering the range from orange light to deep infrared radiation. Webb's unique capabilities will allow it to gather information on unusual phenomena such as the dimming light of star KIC 846. 2852, discovered in 2015, and to detect methane in exoplanet atmospheres, a potential indicator of biological activity. The telescope orbits the Sun near the second Lagrange point, L2, of the Sun-Earth system, about 1,500,000 kilometers, 930,000 miles, farther from the Sun than Earth's orbit and approximately four times farther than the Moon's orbit. Webb's halo orbit around L2 is inclined with respect to the ecliptic and takes about half a year to complete. The halo orbit is a controlled drifting to remain in the vicinity of L2, requiring station keeping to maintain the observatory's position. Webb's propulsion system, located on the sun-facing side, keeps it in this delicate balance to conduct its groundbreaking observations. The James Webb Space Telescope serves as the formal successor to the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spitzer Space Telescope, with a primary focus on infrared astronomy. It is expected to surpass both telescopes significantly, enabling the observation of many more and much older stars and galaxies. Observing in the infrared spectrum is crucial for Webb's capabilities, as it allows for better penetration of obscuring dust and gas and the observation of dimmer, cooler objects. Ground-based infrared astronomy is limited due to water vapor and carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere strongly absorbing most infrared light. Webb's position in space makes it the preferred choice for infrared observation, as it is not affected by atmospheric interference. Because the universe is expanding, light from distant objects becomes redshifted, making them easier to observe in the infrared. Webb's infrared capabilities are expected to allow it to see back in time to the first galaxies forming just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Infrared radiation can also pass through regions of cosmic dust that scatter visible light, allowing the study of objects and regions of space obscured in the visible spectrum. This includes molecular clouds, circumstellar disks giving rise to planets, and cores of active galaxies. Objects with temperatures less than several thousand degrees emit most of their radiation in the infrared, making infrared observations valuable for studying cooler objects like the interstellar medium, brown dwarfs, planets in our solar system and others, comets, and Kuiper Belt objects. Missions like Spitzer and the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe have significantly influenced Webb's development, demonstrating the importance of mid-infrared observations and the significance of the mid-infrared region in understanding the universe. The Space Telescope Science Institute, located in Baltimore, Maryland, on the Homewood campus of Johns Hopkins University, was selected in 2003 as the Science and Operations Center for the James Webb Space Telescope. It received an initial budget of 162.2 million U.S. dollars intended to support operations through the first year after launch. In this capacity, STSCI was to be responsible for the scientific operation of the telescope and delivery of data products to the astronomical community. Data was to be transmitted from web to the ground via the NASA Deep Space Network, processed and calibrated at STSCI, and then distributed online to astronomers worldwide. Similar to how Hubble is operated, anyone, anywhere in the world, will be allowed to submit proposals for observations. 
Each year several committees of astronomers will peer-review the submitted proposals to select the projects to observe in the coming year. The authors of the chosen proposals will typically have one year of private access to the new observations, after which the data will become publicly available for download by anyone from the online archive at STSCI. The bandwidth and digital throughput of the satellite is designed to operate at 458 gigabits of data per day for the length of the mission, equivalent to a sustained rate of 5.42 megabits per second. Most of the data processing on the telescope is done by conventional single-board computers. The digitization of the analog data from the instruments is performed by the custom Sidecar ASIC, System for Image Digitization, Enhancement, Control and Retrieval Application-Specific Integrated Circuit. NASA stated that the Sidecar ASIC will include all the functions of a 9.1 kilogram instrument box in a 3 centimeter package and consume only 11 milliwatts of power. Since this conversion must be done close to the detectors, on the cold side of the telescope, the low power dissipation is crucial for maintaining the low temperature required for optimal operation of Webb. During its mission, the C3 mirror segment suffered a micrometeoroid strike from a large dust mote-sized particle between the 23rd and the 25th of May, the fifth and largest strike since launch, reported June 8, 2022, which required engineers to compensate for the strike using a mirror actuator. Despite the strike, a NASA characterization report states all JWST observing modes have been reviewed and confirmed to be ready for science use as of July 10, 2022. Webb was launched on December 25, 2021 as scheduled, on an Ariane 5 rocket from the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana. It underwent a two-week deployment phase of its parts and started its journey to its target destination. Webb was released from the upper stage 27 minutes and 7 seconds after launch, and it began a 30-day adjustment to place itself in a lysigous orbit around the L2 Lagrange point. The telescope reached L2 on January 24, 2022, using three planned course corrections to adjust its speed and direction. Webb was designed to carry enough propellant for 10 years, but the precision of the launch and the first mid-course correction saved enough fuel, potentially extending the mission to around 20 years. The deployment of Webb's various components proceeded as planned, with the solar array, antenna, sunshield, mirrors, and other instruments unfolding and deploying successfully. A few minor issues were reported, including increased friction in one of the mechanisms of the MIRI instrument, but overall, the mission was described as flawless. On January 24, 2022, Webb completed its final course correction, placing it in its planned halo orbit around the Sun-Earth L2 point. The mission controllers at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore had flexibility to modify the deployment sequence if needed. With its successful deployment and positioning, Webb is now ready to begin its scientific observations, which will provide groundbreaking insights into the universe's early history, galaxy formation, star and planet formation, and the study of planetary systems and the origins of life. On January 12, 2022, while in transit, the alignment of the James Webb Space Telescope's mirrors began. This process involved moving the primary mirror segments and the secondary mirror from their protective launch positions. It took about 10 days to complete, with 132 actuator motors fine-tuning the mirror positions with extreme accuracy in 10 nanometer increments. Mirror alignment required positioning each of the 18 mirror segments and the secondary mirror within 50 nanometers of their intended positions. This precision is comparable to aligning the height of Texas-sized segments within the size of the United States to an accuracy of about 1.5 inches. The process was complex and divided into seven phases, rehearsed multiple times using a scale model of the telescope. The alignment operation began when the primary mirror segments reached a temperature of 120 Kelvin, and the NIR cam targeted the star HD 84406 in Ursa Major. Through a series of techniques, including phase retrieval and dispersed fringe sensing, the mirror segments were brought into alignment, allowing the telescope to capture precise, focused images. On February 3, 2022, NIRCAM detected the telescope's first photons, marking a significant milestone. By February 18, 2022, phase 1 of alignment was completed, and subsequently, phases 2 and 3 were also finished. 
However, all seven phases needed to be completed to fully align the segments and enable the telescope to function as one coherent unit. During this time, other instrument commissioning and calibration tasks were also being carried out to ensure the telescope's readiness for scientific observations. The James Webb Space Telescope allocates observing time through three main programs, the General Observers Program, the Guaranteed Time Observations Program, and the Director's Discretionary Early Release Science Program. The GTO program provides guaranteed observing time to scientists who contributed to the development of the observatory's hardware and software. The GO program allows all astronomers to apply for observing time and makes up the majority of the total observing time. Proposals for the GO program undergo peer review by a time allocation committee, similar to the process used for the Hubble Space Telescope. In November 2017, the Space Telescope Science Institute selected 13 DDERS programs through a competitive proposal process. These early release observations, ERO, were to be conducted during the first five months of web science operations after the commissioning period. A total of 460 hours of observing time was awarded to these programs, covering various scientific topics. For GO Cycle 1, there were 6,000 hours of observation time available, and 1,173 proposals were submitted, requesting a total of 24,500 hours of observation time. The Cycle 1 GO programs were announced on March 30, 2021, with 266 programs approved, including large programs and treasury programs for public access. The Cycle 2 GO program was announced on May 10, 2023. Web science observations are scheduled weekly, and the observation plan for each week is published on Mondays by the Space Telescope Science Institute. Ladies and gentlemen, we have embarked on a remarkable journey through the fascinating world of the James Webb Space Telescope. From its conception to its awe-inspiring deployment in space, we've witnessed the relentless dedication of scientists, engineers, and space agencies who have made this incredible feat possible. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its remarkable technological advancements and unparalleled capabilities, promises to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. Its ability to observe in the near-infrared spectrum will grant us unprecedented access to distant galaxies, stars, and even the first light that illuminated our universe after the Big Bang. By peering through cosmic dust and gas, Webb will unlock the secrets of star formation, planetary systems, and the origins of life itself. Through its General Observers Program, Guaranteed Time Observations Program, and the Director's Discretionary Early Release Science Program, astronomers from around the world will have the opportunity to explore the universe and share in the marvels that Webb uncovers. As we've seen, the first images and data have already left us in awe, and this is just the beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope serves as the formal successor to Hubble and Spitzer, surpassing both in its capabilities and potential for groundbreaking discoveries. Its unique orbit around the Sun-Earth L2 point ensures stability, while its fine-tuned mirror alignment and advanced instruments promise to deliver precise and detailed observations. As we continue to receive breathtaking images and scientific revelations from Webb, let us remember the countless hours of hard work, dedication, and innovation put forth by the global space community. This telescope represents a testament to the power of human ingenuity and cooperation in unlocking the mysteries of our vast universe. So, my fellow space enthusiasts, brace yourselves for a thrilling era of discovery as the James Webb Space Telescope unravels the secrets of the cosmos, one image and data point at a time. Let us celebrate the wonders of science and the unyielding spirit of exploration that fuel our journey beyond the stars. Stay tuned for more updates and discoveries, and remember to keep looking up at the night sky with wonder and curiosity. The universe awaits us, and with the James Webb Space Telescope, we are closer than ever to unraveling its deepest mysteries. This is Cybot GPT, signing off and remember, the sky is not the limit, it is only the beginning.